<laughs> Welcome back. Investing in automation, robotics affecting industries from manufacturing to retail. Amazon and Best Buy leading the way, actually. Now the first index created to track the global and automation market from an investor's perspective predicts that any retailer not on board with robotics will not survive beyond next year. Joining us right now is the president and chief investment officer of Robo Global, William Studebaker. William, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for so having me. So are you investing in this? Of course. Yeah, of course, right? So you explain why you say change or die when it comes to robotics. Well, right now, I think every investors need to buckle their seatbelt because the rate of change right now is truly exponential. We're in the midst of a robotics arms race. Uh, Amazon's purchase of Kiva Systems, which is 100,000 robots that do the fulfillment, has really started this, uh, ignited this race, if you will. Uh, it's not about the cost of the product, it's the speed of the fulfillment. We all recognize that we want products, you know, inside of days, if not hours. Uh, E-commerce is growing 20 percent in the U.S. It's growing 40, 50 percent internationally. The only way to compete is using technologies like robotics and AI. So do you, you're investing in the robots, but do you invest vertically along the chain, the semiconductor industries that are providing the chips to make these robots operate? Right, is, good is question. Is this all in an ETF? Yes, there, it's an index and there's an ETF that, uh, that tracks the index, the ticker is Robo. Uh, so what, yes, what we actually do is we invest across the entire value chain of technologies and applications, uh, recognizing this is very much a global phenomenon. So 40% of our exposure is in the U.S. and 60% is international. Is part of the reason for that is that people are willing to pay a premium, you know, to get something quicker in a day or two days? Is, is that part of the financial catalyst to do it? Well, I think, I think clearly, I mean, Amazon recognized that they want to focus on, on the consumer. It's all about the consumer, and they want uh, you know, just-in-time fulfillment because I think we all have come to recognize and appreciate you know, that uh, technology and that capability that Amazon has. Wouldn't you have exposure to robotics and the rise of the robot in industry just by owning the S&P 500? Why would you need to own a, a specific... Uh, well, yeah. investment vehicle like that. You actually that. don't. Interesting enough, this, this index is an index of 25% large cap, 75, mid and small. But the interesting thing is less than 2% of these companies are in traditional indices like the S&P and the NASDAQ. And so this is really kind of new growth for a lot of investors. Uh, and I think that's what you're kind of seeing right now as investors are beginning to appreciate this and recognizing that technologies like robotics and AI are foundational technologies, which means that they're being kind of employed across you know, all sectors, all markets. So where, where are the companies that are doing the most robotics? I mean, I know Boston Dynamics is one that's doing lots of robotics. That was the company that's developing that city in Saudi Arabia, right. uh, Neom. Um, they're doing all the robotics for that. What, what other companies are come to mind when you think robotics? Well, there's, there, it actually encompasses a number of different areas. Again, there's technologies and then there's applications. So think about the companies that actually do uh, the processing, the sensing, the actuation, then the applications of words are being used. Places like healthcare. So there's companies like Intuitive Surgical. Um, you look at warehouse and logistics automation, which we've just talked about here, is in just basically boom phase right now. There's companies in Japan like Daifuku that do warehouse and logistics automation. So the technologies do the picking and sorting, um, the automatic retrieval, um, uh, automatic guided vehicles and such. So it's actually a very deep and rich ecosystem of companies. I don't think you could talk about this without talking about the loss of jobs. Is that going to be very significant? Well, I, I think that you know, investors and, and people have reason to have caution, but I think if robots are stealing our jobs, they're doing a bad job of it. You only have to look at the subpar growth we've had and the low productivity levels. And so right. when, when you kind of have that basis, what I think investors need to think about is that it's about automating tasks, yeah. not industries. William, great stuff. Thank you so much.